AMD's finally starting to meet demand, and the prices for the RTX 3080 Ti are absolutely ludicrous. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Stock Drops. So, as many of you may know, this year it's been incredibly difficult to get new technology. Whether it be graphics cards, CPUs, or even new consoles, they all seem to be selling out in seconds, and personally, I don't have the time to be refreshing websites all day. Thankfully, Stock Drops does the work for you by constantly checking when new products are in stock all over the internet and alerting you when they become available. Stock Drops has a great community on Discord as well as a new app they just launched which is the fastest way to get notified with full SKU customization and in-browser alerts. And right now they're doing a giveaway for a Ryzen 9 5900X and Arctic cooler. So if you want a better chance of getting that new GPU, CPU, or console, click the links in the description below to find out more. Yep, that's right, you heard me correctly, AMD is finally starting to meet demand with their products. Now I first want to go ahead and talk about their Ryzen processors as they are definitely doing a better job on that side, but then we'll go ahead and talk about their AMD Radeon GPUs as well, and I'll give you my thoughts on, uh, you know, how long it might take until they are able to completely fully meet demand on those as well. However, I do think there's been at least some amount of improvement there as well, but in any case, let's first go ahead and talk about those Ryzen processors. So, uh, when the Ryzen 5000 series processors first launched, it was actually really difficult to get any of these CPUs whatsoever. Now, as time has gone on, the Ryzen 5800X has been coming in stock more and more and right now you can actually get it uh, not only at MSRP but you can actually get it below the MSRP right now at Newegg.com. It's coming in at about $429.99 I believe so that's about $20 under the original MSRP so that's a, definitely a good sign for not only the Ryzen processors but also the 7 nanometer supply that AMD is getting which by the way that not only affects their Ryzen processors but also the Radeon graphics and consoles as well. So yeah this is definitely a good sign for everything all around but not only that but the 5600X has also been coming in stock more recently and if we take a look at Newegg.com we can also finally buy the 5600X for the exact MSRP that it should be so that's definitely a good sign as well and even more impressively the Ryzen 9 processors yes that's right the elusive Ryzen 9 processors that everyone's been trying to get so hard for so long uh, while you might not necessarily be able to buy them on a whim just like the 5800X and the 5600X there are some good signs here as well as uh, you know, I have been tracking the Ryzen 9 5900X as well as the Ryzen 9 5950X for some time now, and I have some really good news to share with you guys on that front as well. So taking a look at the Ryzen 5900X, we can see that that's come into stock 32 times in the last 24 hours from when uh, I last checked here, and then with the Ryzen 9 5950X, I've actually seen this thing getting pinged 33 times for it being in stock. And you know, when AMD.com has their drops, it seems like it's really not too difficult to get the Ryzen 9 processors anymore as well. So, you know, all of this is definitely a really good sign. It's good to see that finally the uh, processors are coming in stock. I think this is the first sign to them being able to meet demand with all of their products. So the next things you're going to probably be seeing coming in stock more and more frequently would be not only their uh, consoles, but on top of that, their Radeon graphics, because you got to remember that their Radeon GPUs are probably going to make them a lot more money per sale than selling the consoles. So it's probably going to be a priority to AMD to to try and meet demand with their Radeon graphics because not only is it going to make them a lot more money, but on top of that, getting market share away from NVIDIA is going to be very, very important for AMD to achieve. So let's go ahead and talk about the Radeon graphics cards next because, you know, I know everyone loves the consoles, but many of my viewers are probably more interested in those Radeon graphics cards because they actually are a very good alternative to the NVIDIA cards this time around. AMD has really brought the heat and the 6900 XT uh, specifically is a very, very fast GPU and in fact, their next generation cards are looking really fast as well, but that's, uh, let's save that for another video. Going ahead and taking a look at the Radeon cards, I've definitely noticed them uh, going on sale a lot more frequently, and on top of that, uh, I have also noticed that the price isn't nearly as bad as the NVIDIA cards, and it does seem like it's been getting a little bit better recently. In fact, if you go over to eBay, you can pretty much buy any 6700 XT uh, for around 800 to 900 US dollars, it seems pretty much no problem, which of course is way over its MSRP still. However, it is available right now and it's definitely not nearly as bad as trying to buy an NVIDIA card right now which by the way that should be getting a lot better soon as well but I'm going to go ahead and save that one for another video 
as well. But yeah, so, you know, I think as time goes on, especially since the Ryzen processors have been coming in stock and are basically, you know, all those processors are available almost whenever you want, I would expect the Radeon graphics cards to be next and I would expect the prices to continue to drop. So right now on eBay, you probably see them between 800 and 900 US dollars. Uh, another month goes by and you'll probably see them somewhere between 700 to 800 dollars and then another month, probably 600 to 700. Uh, so I would see probably over the next two to three months them starting to creep closer and closer to MSRP and eventually you should be able to just go into a store and have a decent chance of just finding one on a shelf or finding one online when you're trying to look for one. So, you know, overall it looks like AMD is finally starting to meet demand. We're probably only going to have a little bit more time here, especially as uh, crypto mining becomes less and less profitable. That's going to put less stress on the AMD card specifically, especially since they're not very good at mining uh, already. So yeah, I think we're only got a little bit more time here to wait on AMD side of their supply and things should continue to get better every single month that goes by. But now let's go ahead and talk about the RTX 3080 Ti because I know a lot of you out there are very excited for the RTX 3080 Ti as you know, you're pretty much going to be buying an RTX 3090 for what we at least originally thought was going to be much, much cheaper. However, it looks like I got some bad news for you guys because according to Paul from over at Not an Apple Fan, it looks like the RTX 3080 Ti price is going to be absolutely ridiculous. In fact, in some cases, it looks like the 3080 Ti could actually be more expensive than the RTX 3090, which makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. However, in any case, according to Paul from over at Not an Apple Fan, what we're going to be looking at here is an upper limit of around $2,500 US dollars for certain AIB models of the RTX 3080 Ti. Now, I don't necessarily know if he's talking about 3080 Ti's that are going to be sold in the US. I don't know what models he's talking about, and I also don't know uh, necessarily if that could change before they actually launch. However, from what I've been hearing, I would expect the RTX 3080 Ti to be selling anywhere between $1,200 US dollars all the way up to $2,500 US dollars with uh, more realistically probably most of them being around $2,000 dollars or less so you know even if you do get one for less than 2,000 US dollars that's definitely still not a good deal as the RTX 3090 MSRP is supposed to be 1,500 US dollars and frankly 1,500 is still an absolutely ridiculous amount to be spending on a single gaming graphics card so to see a 3080 Ti coming in here with half the amount of VRAM and you're probably not going to have a good chance of buying one for less than 1,500 US dollars well that's just going to be a really bad deal and I certainly would be avoiding the RTX 3080 Ti and I wouldn't be trying to get one for any more than about 1200 US dollars and in fact even at 1200 US dollars that's still a lot of money to be spending on a gaming graphics card and so you know honestly if you can't get one for between 1000 and 1200 US dollars I would just go ahead and boycott this launch because frankly I think that in the near future here you are going to start to see these cards start to drop in price especially since they are the LHR variants uh, the light hash rate and won't be uh, nearly as good at crypto mining so I think there's going to be a little bit less demand for them as well. However, I am hearing that supply is not very good, which is actually pretty surprising uh, considering the amount of times that this has been pushed off. Now, of course, that information comes from not an Apple fan as well. He's saying the supply is not going to be very good. However, that could just be over in the UK and those areas where he's getting that information. So the US supply, I don't necessarily know for sure. But what I do know for sure is that the RTX 3080 Ti is going to be really, really expensive. And guys, honestly, if it's going to be, you know, 2000 US dollars, I would definitely not be touching this thing even with a 10 foot pull. But hey, that's just what I think. How much do you think the RTX 3080 Ti is going to cost? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.